The thing with waterborne pathogens is there's no silver bullet. When it comes to sustainability or safety, there's no silver bullet. It's going to take sort of an all of the above approach. That said, there are opportunities. And the water demand calculator, I think, is going to be one of these. So my sense is when you start looking at the hard numbers for, let's say, a multifamily unit, there's going to be a question for engineers in terms of liability, because many of them are going to be afraid at first to reduce pipe sizes. But there's this question of litigation on the back end, which is if you knowingly oversized it to the point that it was increasing water age, that's a risk perspective. And a lot of insurance providers are already starting to have exemptions for waterborne pathogens. So my sense is that the market is going to react, not necessarily because of any particular regulation, but because of litigation. And especially as the engineers understand that they need to do more in the realm of plumbing systems. Plumbing, I can tell you, having worked at many MEP firms and having been in that industry for so long, plumbing is overlooked. And it's really an afterthought in the realm of, of engineering. Plumbing has been overlooked for a very, very long time. So the expertise now that's needed because of ASHRAE 188 and the plumbing codes updating, the concern of litigation, it's a trend that if you're paying attention, you'll see it. I think some engineering firms may not be paying attention to it and could get caught up in some risk that they may not be prepared for.